What's up, boys? Today I'm going to be on Madden 23 and seeing if they copy and pasted this year's face of the franchise mode while simultaneously making a mockery of the sport. They went off in this year's game. You have 10 face options to choose from. You got fat and depressed, Giga Chad, Giga Chad in black, probably Asian, pretty Asian, pissed off black guy, and psych ward escapee. But I want my player to be a BBW, so I went with the fattest face possible and made him as dark as possible. He already has freckles, so we're going to keep them and run with the whole Morgan Freeman look we got going on. To avoid being canceled, I decided to make him look ultra diverse. I gave him bright blue eyes, made him a little Jewish, he has white woman lips, and to top it off, I gave him the whitest haircut I could find in this game. It makes him wear a headband 24-7, which is a great opportunity to add a powerful social justice message on my athlete. I'm going to name this handsome fella here Mario Freeman from Jerusalem. This guy is perfect. My AdSense money is going to be through the roof in this video. We have three physiques to choose from, Agile, Balance, and Bruiser. Wait, I can make him 7 feet, 400 pounds, say less. If the brain damage doesn't kill him, the diabetes sure will. None of this muscle size stuff ever matters, so I made his upper body massive while giving him Spongebob legs. Now what's the point of this game allowing me to make this unit if I can't have a career as an offensive lineman? Let me put Ray Rice as a kicker. All positions matter. But from the five options we have, I think the clear choice here is to be a tank at the running back position. And it's time to sign a contract and see who has a budget for feeding me 20,000 calories of kosher food a day. So I'm going to sign to a team purely based off who offers me the most money. Third is a commanders that definitely would have fit with the wokeness of my character. Second with 1.74 million, should have ran the ball. And the New York Jets, 1.76 million. This might work out if I can keep Zach's hands off my mom. I could run the ball almost every play and I don't think it could possibly make them any worse. It's a win-win. Who bets on the Jets? Uh, who, have you not learned anything about betting? The Jets are gonna come back! No, they're not! They're, they're never, never gonna, gonna come back! They're never gonna come back! We get our first cutscene, which Madden has a history of being awful at. I'm no longer seven feet in this, but I'm still fat, so I just look like the new IT guy. We meet Andy. And I don't even need to say anything, Madden, you dirty dogs. I don't know if there was anything said there of substance because Andy's hips made me hearing impaired, but I'm choosing my gear and since I'm going to be playing a bruising old head style of play, I decided to look the part. Head protection is for pussies. My player is so tall I'm having trouble seeing him, but we're taking out the mouth guard. It seems unnecessary. Another cutscene, but Andy wasn't in it, so I wasn't really paying attention. All I got out of it is that Mario looks more like a contestant on The Biggest Loser than a pro athlete. In the preseason, we won one game and tied one, but I was able to level up Mario, and all I'm going to invest in is power moves. He now has 87 trucking, 87 stiff arm, and a silver trucking badge. Our first regular season game is against the Ravens, and like I said earlier, we are going to run the ball as much as possible. The only player I know on this team is Zach Wilson, and our star player is Quinnen Williams who looks like he should be my backup. What's up, you fat pig? What, you don't see where you're fucking going? I wasn't even driving. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up, you fucking piece of bacon. <laughs> Why'd I get <laughs> it's my first game and no one is able to stop me one-on-one. -on -one. I was spamming the truck button on every possession. Sometimes I look dumb doing it, but 60% of the time it worked every time. We're down seven and I can't get into the end zone before the end of the first half, but I get us in kicking position after going for 184 yards on 19 rushes. Still down seven in the third, but yeah, let me just fall through three guys for an extra five yards. Thank you, Madden. I'm joking, I'm joking. Stop, stop, stop. First and 10, I get us to the 12 yard line, but Jets are going to jet, holding on us. I finally give the Milf Hunter an opportunity to throw here. I'm wide open, but he throws an incomplete pass at a covered wide receiver. The defense actually gets a stop, so I get another shot with two and a half minutes remaining. I got a first down after nailing a few guys. Third and nine, I need Zach to throw, but this time I spam for the ball. I catch it and run over the defender for another first down. Get stopped at the 40, but I'll just let gravity take over and get another four. I get a big run on the left, but there's a flag. I was worried that Jets culture was going to take over again, but they call unnecessary roughness. I don't think they should be able to call this for Mario. I've been going helmet to helmet all game. We go to overtime, Ravens have the ball, but we get a stop and I go on to run over the whole Ravens team for a touchdown and the win. All I had to do to beat the Ravens was break the single game rushing attempts and rushing yards record. I now have 91 trucking and I added the reach for it ability. Game two is against the Browns and they're letting the massage connoisseur play in this one. Does your mom know that you're playing with a sex offender right now? This doesn't matter to Mario. He's a bit of a violent criminal himself. I'm facing Miles Garrett on defense, but I was the only one swinging helmets. The Browns were able to score 35 points, but Zach Wilson never threw the ball in this one. I ran for 542 yards. 
Against the Bengals, we won 17 to 20. The Jets always had the lead, and I had a modest 289 yards on 47 carries. Down seven against the Steelers, I break away from three defenders. I tried shouting out the gaze, but it didn't work out. I forgot I'm 400 pounds. I threw a flying knee at the goal line for a touchdown, and I was dominating the Steelers' backfield throughout the whole game. Jets won 38 to 24. The Dolphins never had the lead. Mario had 350 yards. We're 5 and 0 and already have more wins than last year's season. My power moves are now maxed out, so from here I'll start dumping my skill points into breaking tackles. We're playing the 4 and 1 Packers. I felt like a fat cheerleader in this one. I was getting doubled and triple teamed every time I met the line of scrimmage. My offensive line was looking like Biden's border. We were just letting everyone get through. The Jets defense never got a stop and before the end of the fourth quarter, this game was out of reach regardless of my new maxed out of Ability. Our perfect season is over. We lost 14 to 31, and I had a season low 249 rushing yards. Maybe Mario threw that game for a bet because right after I moved into my new mansion. This next game is for the rushing touchdown record in a season. I'm two away from tying it. We're playing in elevation at Denver. Hopefully, we brought out an oxygen chamber for Mario. I was looking gassed before scoring my first touchdown. Tying touchdown for the record. I do a little celebrating before getting in, and there's no special presentation or anything, just frame loss. And for the record, on the one yard line, I brushed past a few defenders. Again, nothing special for Madden. I tried celebrating with the fans, but I forgot I was on the road. But we won this game by five, and Mario broke the record after rushing for 454 yards. The Patriots put up a good fight, but they weren't able to stop me from tumbling for extra yards. 55 carries, 556 yards. I think Madden found a new way to make players take a break from their game. If you don't get this thick piece of white chocolate off my screen, for God's sake. After the morale booster from Andy, there was no way we were going to lose against the Buffalo Bills. If the sexual tension in this game wasn't high enough already, in comes Brayden Man. Him and Mario check each other out. Mario is using two hands to press down the tent in his pants. Next up, we play the Patriots again, and I tried to celebrate being black, but Madden kind of ruined the moment. Oh, this thing is ugly. We have to play my favorite team in real life, and I can't bulldoze this team with a good conscience. Zach Wilson is going to have to take the reins in this game. Turns out I'm a pretty effective blocker, although I was begging for a penalty after every play. Zach was doing pretty well, so I was going to try to distract him in his ear. I never thought he'd throw it to me, but Madden, you never cease to amaze me. I'm not a receiver on this play, just a very aggressive blocker. Turns out you can't block from behind. I honestly never knew that before this play. Cupcake ass league. Second and goal, this play is verticals, and Zach decides to throw it to me and ruin my stats. I try telling Zach two can play this game, but this fucker doesn't even try to pick up the ball. So I've got to get this game closer, which apparently isn't very difficult against the greatest franchise of all time. Roquan Smith picked me up above his head and threw me down. I thought Brayden Mann was the only player allowed to do that to me. Third and inches with nine seconds left. Left. I almost scored on accident. I even had a foot in the end zone, but go Jets holding on the offense. We go to overtime and Justin Fields leads them to a touchdown. We take our second loss of the season. I took care of business against the Vikings, but I think it took a toll on Mario's health. And touchdown Jets taking it in from a yard out and the Jets are able to strike for six. So he had the nice run to get him down. They shocked me back to life, and the cute thing about Mario's memory loss is that he keeps falling in love with Brandon Mann over and over again. The next Bills game was a blowout. They started to headbutt me just to take me down. We could have shut them out entirely, but I decided to let our kicker try to break the field goal record. And of course, I can't have our punter Brandon Mann jealous. He rarely gets a punt anyway. The Lions game was not pretty. I started to target the safeties just for fun. We were blowing out the Jaguars until I got bored and sent out the kicking unit every time they put me on offense. Went for 580 yards on just 48 carries versus the Seahawks. Last game of the season versus the Dolphins and everything was going my way. I love that the solidarity celebration is supposed to be you kneeling for Black Lives Matter, but sometimes your player decides to do the Macarena in a backflip. That's not going to earn him millions of dollars in the name of social justice. Here is a look at Mario Freeman's stats after completing the season. On 838 carries, he had 7,121 yards for 90 touchdowns. No one else on the entire team even scored a touchdown. We are matched up with the Colts in the AFC Divisionals. The Bengals and Chiefs were taken out in the first round. Somehow the Commanders are the second seed in the NFC, so it looks like the Cardinals have a bye week. And I'm now an 84 overall, which makes me the second highest rated player on this team. I also added increased strength and I added more powerful truck animations. Other than Aaron Rodgers, 
Panthers, nothing can stop me. The Colts are also led by a freight train, except I have 14 inches and 173 pounds on him. We have the home field advantage, and of course, we start the pregame with a helicopter show. The last time there were Jets doing a flyby in New York, it looked like the Avengers had a boss fight downtown. The first possession took us three minutes before I was able to roll in for a touchdown. The second drive took us two plays. The third drive ended with me running over a linebacker, causing two players to collide, and I almost messed it up by spamming buttons, but I was able to waltz in past five defenders. Second half, and the Colts are keeping up on offense, but defense is a different story. I ran past two backfield defenders. Their star player had two attempts to take me down, but I still got in. By the fourth quarter, I decided to put this game away and burn as much clock as I could. I kept sliding after I got the first down, and this play probably should have ended like the Blue Jays Rangers brawl. The Jets won 35 to 28 off 471 runs rushing yards. Zach Wilson did his job by throwing zero interceptions for zero passing yards. We have a rematch with the Ravens in the AFC Championship. We beat them in overtime in our season opener, but Mario has been forcing his way out of every drug test since then. We're down seven, and in our first couple of plays, I lose my best blocker on the team. But not to worry, I'm pretty much a one-man offensive line. On first down, it's Freeman. I have an easy touchdown before the end of the first, but screw that guy in particular. Down seven with a minute left in the half. I probably had another 15 yards to gain on this play, but that's what I get for spamming trucks every time I touch the ball. Another big opening for Mario, but I possess a footwork of a paraplegic. I can't imagine how dominant Mario would be if I was capable of anything else besides running through a brick wall. We were up seven, but the Jets offensive line showed up late in the third. The Ravens stopped us in three and tied the game at 28. I was trying to burn the clock for the rest of the game, but the downside of being this big is I get a lot of injury timeouts and I'll accidentally fall for an extra 10 yards through contact. So I ended up having to score with two and a half minutes left in the game. They tied it up again at 35. Defense doesn't really matter when you have Shaquille O'Neal as your running back. They needed three guys just to shove me out of bounds. Mario started crip walking on them. That came out of nowhere. This man was raised in a Jewish household. Late in the fourth and I get an easy touchdown. I think the Ravens defense learned their lesson from last time. But we won 42 to 35 and we're going to the Super Bowl. I don't know why Zach Wilson is so celebrating all he did was hand me the ball all game here is a super bowl cutscene presentation i noticed something in it none of these companies actually exist why would they skip out on making money here they were so focused on making andy's ass have jiggle physics that they forgot to cash in on the background ads but it turns out we are playing the arizona cardinals in arizona they beat the Bucks 14 to 7. My game plan in this game is to avoid JJ Watt at all costs. I had a 33 yard rush on the opening drive after trucking Buda Baker. I then had a guy try to ride my back and I fell down at the 13 yard line. After this, I was able to score with ease, but the Cardinals immediately tied it up. I get a decent run here, but they call holding and if they accept a penalty, it's first and three. I don't know football super well, but that doesn't seem right. A couple more runs and we get a first and goal, but the Cardinals defense holds up. I messed up on the third down. I thought they stopped us, but it turns out we still scored. I looked it up and apparently Zach Wilson threw it to me for a touchdown. Why would they not involve me in that play? We get a stop and the ball back. I could have had a touchdown on this run, but instead I spun out of bounds. I probably deserve that and Mario was so upset he started to truck through his own sideline. We had to settle for a field goal and starting the second half, it's a four point game. My linemen here are double teaming a guy and he still gets through. We get stopped on downs and the Cardinals have a three point lead in the fourth. I don't know why I was avoiding JJ Watt all game. Turns out I can truck him one on one. I've been wasting clock this whole drive so we can safely tie it up if we need to, but it all comes down to this possession, third and five. Freeman a tailback, he's got it running left. I got pummeled on that play. JJ was trying to Lawrence Taylor me. We got the first, but he's still celebrating in front of my injured teammates. On the next play, I tried to avoid the end zone, but I scored with a minute and 10 left in regulation. We barely stopped them on defense. We get the ball back on the 22 yard line with 12 seconds left in the game. Obviously, the smart thing to do here is to kneel it, but if Madden 23 has taught me anything, it's to think with my second head. We're going to let Braden punt it and 50 50 a play for the win. We get the stop we need, and the Jets are champions for the first time since we put a man on the moon. Not a bad celebration sequence. We're up on the podium with the trophy. I don't see Mario up there, but there's Brayden with his hands on his head, so odds are I'm putting my pads to work right below him. Mario was a league MVP, offensive player of the year, best running back, and solely because of my play style, seven out of 10 best linemen were from the Jets, including two 69 overall players. I was looking for Tom Brady in the retirement list, but I guess his son's lips are safe for another year. He's staying in the league. My contract is up, the Giants offered me the most while the Bengals and Chiefs offered me the least, but that's a good stopping point for Mario Freeman's career. 
this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll continue his career in another video. NBA 2K23 is about to come out, and only a few things make me want to keep playing this game, so it's up to you guys. Uh, go football. I don't know what else to say. Bye. The Jets are gonna come back! No, they're not! They're never gonna come back! They're never gonna come back!